here at the Australian Army Tank Museum again and taking a look at one of the US um, uh, tanks that's in the uh, collection here. So this is a Sherman, so M4 uh, medium, um, uh, Mark um, A2 that's in the collection here. So this, uh, this Sherman was um, one of the uh, one of the versions that was produced and supplied under lend-lease to the um, to the British and also to the uh, to, to the Russians, and represents um, one of the earlier marks of the um, of the vehicle. So as the um, as the A2, the main differences compared to um, uh, M4 and M4 A1s was the um, power plant. So this vehicle used um, twin I6 diesel engines, um, which were mounted um, in a sort of flat configuration around a common uh, common crankshaft. Um, and so um, represent the diesel powered versions that um, that uh, were uh, used by the uh, used by the British and the Russians. So these vehicles um, in the British service, I think, were termed the um, the Sherman Three. Um, as the A2 version, you can see that it uses um, the welded hull as opposed to the A1, which had um, the cast or composite hull. It still, in this configuration, at least, has the uh, has the M3 75 millimeter. Um, dual purpose gun um, as opposed to the high velocity 76 millimeter gun. Um, Sherman total production um, of all marks was about 50,000. Um, for this, the A2 version with the diesels, um, it was about um, about 11,000 vehicles that were produced and about 8,000 of those 11 were produced with that, um, that M3 gun. So um, sometimes termed a medium velocity gun, it was a, it was a, um, a gun that had um, the capability to use both a um, quite effective um, high explosive round for um, for breaking up hard points in support of infantry, as well as an armor piercing round. Though the um, the velocity of that um, that armor piercing round at the at the muzzle was um, low compared to some of the uh, German tanks that encountered later in the war. But um, this tank um, uh, was was brought in um, to a lot of uh, a lot of British units to supplement British vehicles such as the. Um, uh, such as the uh, Cruiser Mark VI um, Crusader, the Cruiser Mark VIII uh, Cromwell, um, to bulk them out and to, and to provide the volume of tanks that the British needed to um, to supply their um, their armoured for armoured formations. So, um, what can we say about um, about the Sherman? So, suspension-wise, we're talking about a bogey suspension here. So, the um, each bogey is a, is a separate unit that can be removed with the removal of a couple of bolts. So, so everything self-contained in there. This is the um, what's called the um, VVSS suspension or the vertical volume suspension system. So you can see here the, the volume spring, which is um, vertically mounted to provide um, the control for the uh, for the uh, for the for the road wheels as they um, uh, as they articulate. So three sets of bogies per side and a um, and a return um, idle wheel at the back. So in here you've got um, in this version of the welded hull, which is the the standard version or the initial version of the hull. Um, this, this welded hull was lengthened in later marks to accommodate um, the bigger Continental, oh, sorry, the bigger um, Chrysler multi-bank engine. But the engines in here in the A A2 were with the two I6 diesels um, mounted around a common uh, on a, on a common uh, uh, crankshaft. And so engines back here and a drive forward under the uh, uh, under the uh, working area of the tank on the inside to take us to a front uh, front drive sprocket. So transmission um, and final drive here at the uh, front of the vehicle. So transmission's inside this um, this one-pieced cast um, uh, cast lower lower hull. So we've got um, uh, driver position on the left, as is pretty typical in US tanks. Going to position on the right. So main armament being our M375 millimeter. We've also got a bow-mounted 30 caliber Browning. Also got a coaxial um, 30 caliber Browning, and there's provision um, around the uh, commander's coupler for what appears to be a, um, a 50 millimeter, um, oh, sorry, a, a, a 50 caliber um, Browning um, anti-aircraft um, anti-aircraft machine gun. Um, so yeah, used um, used quite effectively. Used in all theaters. Um, the uh, the, the, the Sherman here used a combination of manufacturing techniques throughout its life to optimise the uh, the capability of the um, the different um, uh, different parts of US industry, whether it was automotive or, or, or trains or, or other heavy industries. So um, experience in uh, in casting in some plants, experience in welding in others, and combining those together to produce a vehicle that um, could be shipped all over the world and was used in all theatres. This A2 variant was also used by the Marine Corps in the um, in the Pacific in. Um, in small numbers, um, and as I already mentioned, was um, was supplied under lend lease to the British and also to the um, 
to the uh, t to the Russians. So, great example of um, one of the uh, one of the iconic Shermans um, here in the collection of the um, of the uh, of the museum. And I think um, you know, I remember in my in my younger days there was a lot of criticism of the Sherman compared to um, compared to other vehicles, other armored vehicles of, of World War II as being uh, under armored, as being under armed. Um, Compared to uh, compared to some of those German vehicles, but history has been a bit kinder when we can look at all the statistics and all the perf real performance details of how these vehicles um, uh, behaved when they were, were employed, showing that um, in fact they were, um, they, were, they, were they were no less um, dangerous than the many other tanks that were out there. And while their guns may have not been as effective as some some German guns, um, it's important to remember that, that this vehicle wasn't wasn't designed just to be a um, just to be a, a tank killer. And to take um, on every tank that was on the uh, battlefield, but to be used in a combined arms um, configuration, whereby air support and artillery and, um, and heavier guns could be brought to bear on those tougher targets. Anyway, um, Sherman M4 medium um, A2 uh, with its uh, diesel engine uh, and the uh, and the welded hull here at the uh, Australian Army Tank Museum in Pakapanyal.